Hello gang, GMapper14 here, and have I got news for you. This is an amazing day in Android history. You can now have the stock Jellybean 4.2.2 camera on any uh, ice cream sandwich and above device. I am using it on my Galaxy S4, which is running 4.2.2, but does not have the Photosphere feature, which is a feature in this uh, camera. And it runs perfectly on my Galaxy S4. And my friend told me that it works successfully on his Galaxy S3 on AT&T as well. And here it is on my Motorola Droid Razor Max HD. And it works perfectly as well. It's super simple to install. I'm going to run you through the steps real fast. Alright, first, before any you get any of this done, you're going to go to um, Settings on your phone which should go to settings and then you're gonna go down to security then you're gonna go down and where it says unknown sources you're gonna check that box what that means is that you're going to allow installation of apps from unknown sources it's like if you're on the internet and you install an app or an APK which is the uh, file you can do that so you're gonna go to the link in the description which will take you to this right here it's a media fire website it is a large file so it may take a while it took about three four minutes to download it on this phone it's not loading right now but it will load and you'll have a big green download button you're just gonna press that and once you press that it will download to your uh, to your phone and by the way this is thanks to XDA which is one of the coolest websites ever if you ever have questions about your phone make sure to go there to get the answers so uh, once that file has been downloaded you can go to your downloads right there or it'll show up in the notification bar alrighty try to get my autofocus to work here so there we go and then it will say alright today here's your google edition camera dot apk you're just gonna open that up and it may do one of these, but you can just click package installer in just once. So then uh, right now it says replace app, but it's not going to say that on yours. It's just saying that on mine because I already have it installed. So it's going to say this, gallery, and you're going to click install. Once it's done being installed, you will have two new icons. Excuse me. You will have two new icons, gallery and camera. This is the 4.2.2 gallery and the 4.2.2 camera. I love saying that. Alright, the gallery works just the same as any other gallery. So here we go. And here's a photo sphere I took. And there's my finger, which got in the way. And they look a lot better. I just did really bad on this one. So we go over here. You can zoom in my beautifully clean room with just a few clothes. And uh, it works amazing. And it automatically uploaded to Google Plus so I can view them online. Uh, let's take a look at the camera. And this is not rooted, by the way. You can do this easily on no rooting necessary. And which uh, originally you had to have a rooted device and then it may not even work in the first place. So here it is, the new camera interface. You can click on this right here and there you go, Photosphere. Which is my favorite part. So then you just move it up, align the dot, and then you go up, align the dot again. And it sometimes does not align correctly and that just means it will, it will fix it, it will layer up to work uh, just fine. She had to give it a little bit. Some devices not, might not work as well because the gyroscope is uh, not working or something like that. And it's easier to be doing this when you're standing up. It doesn't show up as nice if you're sitting down. So when you click stop, you just click your gallery and it slides you over. It's rendering the panorama, which is it's, it's a photo sphere, but they call it panorama. It's rendering right now. So we'll uh, let that load up. Da -da 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 -da. And there we go. There it is. And so right now it shows up as a panoramic or a picture and you just press this little world looking button down here and it shows you a tour of the photosphere. So now you can just zoom in, look around, zoom out, which is super cool. I love this. I think it's the coolest feature on the camera. Uh, and you couldn't do it on any device unless it was a Nexus, so that's awesome. So if I ask, I'm going to show you some of the other things. Uh, also now you can do panoramas, which you could do on pretty much any other app, and you can also do video recording and regular camera. You can also do stop motion in certain settings. Also new in this one, which is not on the Nexus devices yet, where you hold down, it gives you the quick settings, where you slide up, 
and you have scenes, it just slides up layer to layer. So like here you can go to stop motion or location or a scene and you go up here and then slide up one more time. So that's really nice. And then over here you can change the exposure like so and you just keep your finger on the screen. You can change the front camera or such and uh, yep, that's that. So that is the 4.2.2 camera, no root on the Droid Razor Max HD. And another cool little feature real fast, if you install this, you can use this button to take a picture. So look at that. Click, click. Go over here. Click, click. So that is awesome. This is amazing. I love Google. Google's amazing. Oh, and by the way, real fast, just notice something. If you take a picture, it has a new little animation. It puts it up there. So you can swipe over this way to view it, or you can press up there to slide over and view the picture you just took. So this has been GMapper14. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and download this app. It is in the it is in the description of this video. Tell me if it works on your device or not. I tried installing it on my Android 2.2 device, and guess what? It didn't work. No surprise there. But uh, tell me what devices it works on and what not, and I will have a list of those in the description, if possible, to show future viewers uh, what works and what doesn't. Make sure you check out my other video, how to get a stock experience on any device without root, and now it's even easier thanks to the amazing camera app. Thank you, XDA. Please like, subscribe, and comment.